Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another foundation episode. And in the previous episode, we did build this monastery. Um, it's uh, it's so big. I'm not really sure if I really, really like it this big. Or I do feel like we need to add a few things to the monastery. I, I do feel like we definitely need to work on this and also to try and extend it a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to extend it like in just one corner or something going around. Like we need to try and see if we can like add different type of buildings to this one. So we can like add. And what I heard... There are also more things to unlock for this monastery. So things like beehives, like what? Beehives, I would love that. Oh look, beekeeping. So what else do we have? Like right now, we are at 11 influence, 31 clergy splendor, and then a clergy rating of 31. So that means that these are unlocked. But these are also unlocked. Oh my goodness. Oh, but they do cost like influence points, if I'm correct. So, okay, th this is going to be quite expensive, but this is definitely something I want to look into. So we have a place for visitors to rest, rustic decorations, bushes, benches, cross, tree planter, Polis planter, rustic statue. What do we have here? A small stone wall. Huh. Okay, a treasury. Expensive treasury capacity would, would be interesting because we do need some more space for that. A place where monks and nuns can consume food and monastic meal. Ooh. Okay, what do you do? Food needs satisfaction for monks that last 50% longer. And for nuns, last 50% longer. Clergy and labor, mutual splendor, negative impact is reduced by 50%. Oh, goodness, there is so much here. What is that? A place that monastery occupants to meditate about life and what they wish to eat for dinner. <laughs> okay, they have a walkway, a corner, an entrance, and a wall. Oh, wow, beekeeping. There's so much here, but ancient <laughs> bees for honey and wags. I mean, I don't know if we need that, but I want it. Like, I do definitely want that. Oh, this is hard. But I feel like the first thing we need to do, and I think that is somewhere over here, uh, build a monastery for non-dorms and monk dorms. I feel like we should first fix the basics so we need i think we now have monk dorms so we now need nun dorms and at least so we can have i think yeah four nuns and four monks edit <laughs> let's just do that okay how much space do you have okay 10 so we actually only need to add like one building i feel like i want to build something here in the front um, so, so it will not look that big at, as it does right now. So I'm just trying to th think like, uh, rotate was, how do we rotate again? Hold control. That was it. Okay. Hold control. But it doesn't, oh, it, now it snaps. Ooh. Okay. We can, we can use that for the front. We can use this for the front. This is also snapping, but... I don't think we should go for that. No, that's a bell. Okay, maybe maybe something like this. You see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm just grabbing... Uh, I don't actually know which one. I'm just looking at the look, <laughs> the look of the buildings. Does it really matter? Rustic quarters, a rustic gallery. Uh, this one is definitely a lot smaller. If I would add this one to the side right over here. And this definitely looks a little bit smaller. I, I feel like maybe... How about... Oh, this one is actually... Oh, no, 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 no. That is way too big. This one looks cute with the wood. Just to add a little bit of variation and stuff in here. Would that work? Can I snap this to half of the building? I think so. 
You can also turn off snapping, but as I'm just not, I'm pretty new to this building system. So I don't know if I should do that. Can I just lower you a little bit? Can I, is that working or is that just too low? Oh, oh, we can raise it, but we cannot lower it. But can I now build something in the front then? To snap to that building again, or I'm not sure. Well, well obviously we have freedom. We, we can do whatever we want to do. Like if I just turn off snapping, I can just place this, this here. But is that also, well, no, I cannot lower that. I cannot lower that, unfortunately. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I want to have something with a little bit more wood here, maybe. I just want to make this, this feel a little bit less humongous <laughs> from the front. So, so let me just see if I can uh, create something interesting out of this. So something like this could actually like make this whole big monastery building look a lot more interesting. I doubt a little bit if we should add this one. But maybe, maybe that does help. So I did try to add a few more other other buildings here as well. So this is, if I'm correct, like a doorway. And this is from the uh, copious capacity. So this is from the monastic scriptorium. And there's also, can I click that? Can I see that? So we have a chapel right over here. And I did like, uh, non-dorms, I did like this bell tower so much. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to add that one as well. I think if we add a little bit of, of, of these things, it, it almost feels like this is like, obviously it's not castle, but like this is a castle and these are like the little villages uh, being built around it or something. But obviously it's not, but I don't know. It just gives me that kind of feeling if you guys know what I mean. So, okay. I feel like I want to do the same type of thing right over here, but maybe we should wait with that until this is built. Okay, I want to see uh, what else do we want to build. Okay, the monastic garden. We definitely need to add something of, of this as well. Even though it's only like planter uh, for berries and herb planter. Um, wait, or is this also something? Rustic wooden hut. It's just a just a room size. Well, maybe maybe we should add these. How does that look? Like it's also steep, so we really need to work with that. But I also don't mind to maybe have a little garden right over here. But it's it's really really big, Kaylee. So I'm not really sure about that. Maybe we should just. Uh, I do want to add like a one more doorway on this side here. Can we do that from here? Okay, if I add this one, it's a pretty big one. Do we have a smaller door? We have this one and we have that one. Mm, I don't think so. So maybe, maybe this one. This one looks a little bit tinier. So if we just squeeze this one in, does that look well? I mean, this is like, this is more wood, isn't it? I feel like this one fits more to the theme right over here. So we should have a door right over here. Maybe we can just add a little building on the side here. Okay, I do not have snapping turned on. How does that look if I do that? This is like a wooden building again. I wish it was a little bit more, or, or stone. I wish it was a little bit more wood, but it's gonna be all right. Okay, I'm gonna turn off snapping. And just try and do it by myself right over here. So maybe something like this. Like it's pretty hidden, so it's actually not really a big deal. I hope everyone can, can just reach this. Maybe just a few of these on the side right over here. I <laughs> kind of feel like I'm just placing down some, some decorational planters, but I, I guess these uh, villagers can get some herbs from them. We should, we're just going to wait and see. So we have the garden right now. We have a little cabin right over here, which is part of the garden, I think. Uh, so we are going to wait and see how this will go. Do we, did we actually miss out on anything? So if I now say, uh, added building, 
Uh, wait, no. How do we do that again? At a building. Oh no! Now it comes only to to goes to the monk domes. There should be an option. I was just able to just select what kind of other buildings I want to build, right? Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know what that was, but can we just build this then? Cannot build. Cannot start construction because construction requirements have not been met. Or upfront cost can't be paid. What are the upfront costs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where can I can I see that? I wonder. Edit building. I can't see that. Oh, okay. I can click here. And this would be stone. We don't we have enough stone. We have enough planks, we have enough tools, and polished stone. So, the scriptorium can be built. Is it paid right away? I actually don't know. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. So, we can devote female villagers to the monastery now. Okay, wait, this one, this one can be built. Okay, and then this one probably needs to wait. We need a little bit more stone tools and planks, but that's going to be fine. And these can also be built. Oh, it's only this building then. Oh, but that's going to be... Ooh. <gasps> what did I just do? Oh, no. Oh, no. Like that. Whew. Oh, gosh. Did I almost delete that? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's have a quick look right over here how the rest of our village is doing. We are gathering some more berries like in the previous episode. We all of a sudden had like very little amount of berries. And someone did tell me in the comments that was because of the rain. So the rain did cause like to make sure that we would not get that many berries. So rain is definitely an issue. So hopefully... The berries that we are are building right now, hopefully that is going to help with the storage. Oh man, I think this is going to look really cool once we get these buildings done. That's going to be super amazing. Okay, wait, do we have... There are no... No immigration. What? Why is that? Why do no, does no one want to live here? I don't know. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we need? We do not have that much fish. How is... Why is this one still not finished? It's a priority. Oh, I really regret removing the Fisher Hut. It has 40 by 40. Can I just prioritize this one again? Like, I do understand that you guys all want to build this, but I, I want you to, to finish this, this Fisherman Hut. Maybe, maybe try and see. Maybe it's a little bit bugged. That could be. So if we just try and add one next to it. I like, I don't mind. Wait, do I not have the resources to build this one? It's 40 logs and 20. That should be good. 20 gold. Okay, I'm going to build one right over here. Build. Priority. Let's see how that will go. Maybe we should just delete this one if, if that one is a little bit bugged. But we definitely need some more fish. Brad is doing all right. I actually would love to get a little bit more bread. So I'm not sure. Let's see how the bakery is doing. You have three bags of, of flour. You don't have any water. But there is a well right over here with an unlimited amount of water. You do not have any bread, but that has probably been taken away, so that's good. You do not have that much weed, but you still have some weed, but you are missing uh, missing materials. So missing materials is the weed, I'm assuming, because there's no one else. Yeah, well, we are we are building this. Now, someone did mention in the comments, like, you can actually make this a little bit bigger, but I did not do that, so I'm not sure because I have like these beautiful fences around it. So maybe maybe we just want to build just one more farm right over here, maybe a little bit bigger. Although someone also said like you don't probably need two farms. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just trying this out. Like you can't really see like, oh, you have so much, much space. So you are, are, are getting so much weed 
from uh, this particular area. So it's a little bit vague to me, like how this exactly works. Like, like in games like like uh, Banished or uh, uh, Forest Feudal, which I absolutely love to play, are uh, you you can see how much you actually produce from it. And if I now click, it only says fifty, and it says fifty here as well. So does that mean that I just made these weed farms like exactly the same size? That could be, <laughs> or. If I make it bigger, we will be able to to get more weed from it. I just don't know. But I do know that I actually would like to see some more bread produced. And we might actually be able to, to do that if we just extend. Maybe we can just extend this little farm. I don't know. I don't know. I have my doubts of what to do. Okay, I'm going to accept you into our little village. How is the... Okay, wait, you know what I'm gonna do? I wanna build, like, some market stands right over here. So hopefully... Let's start with a well, maybe. Hopefully the villagers are going to, to build their houses right over here as well. I mean, that would be just really nice. Uh, zoning area. Let's do that. And then we're gonna build the well right over here. And then right next to it... I want to build the market stand. We're going to close you. Oh, gosh. Okay. Market stand. And now we're going to add some market stands around here. So now we have the little market stand right over here. And we're going to build it. So this is hopefully going to attract some more people to this particular area to build their houses. Go to remove... This residential area just to make sure that they're not going to build too close. I think that's perfectly fine. I like this so around the uh, little well where they can get some water. So all the resources and food and drinks that they need, they can now get right over here. And we do have some people unemployed, even though that's also people that um, that work here. So so the, the monks and the nuns and the... the we, we don't have any nuns yet. Wait. We can, we can, oh, oh, this is now finished. I actually do like the wood right over here. I think that definitely helps a little bit to, to like change the vibe a little bit. Like this one has a little tiny bit of wood. Oh, I think this is going to help. So we have three monks. Can we now, okay, we have one, two, two female villagers are now nuns. You see, three monks, two nuns. Oh. Oh, I like that. I like this. Okay, so that is going to mean reaper population of four nuns and four monks. Oh, that just mean, meant like two of, of both then? Because we did reach that one already, so that's good. Uh, build a monastic scriptorium, monastic garden that has berries and herb planters. We're working on that. And then a monastery that has nun dorms and monk dorms. I I, I think we will all be... Uh, wait, this, these were nun dorms, right? Maybe not. <laughs> Start to doubt myself if I added that as well. But we're going to wait and see about that. Oh, hello. Improving trades with Nord Bury. Thanks to your increasing trade, a large number of folks are now looking to settle in Northbury. Yet the village struggles to feed the extra workforce and ask if you could send them a much needed bread. You will have what you need. How much is that? 50 bread. We actually have a uh, 57 amount. So what do we get for that? A trade capacity plus 36 per item. I think that is good. I will invest coins in stat. We don't have that, I guess. Shall we do that? Okay. 50 bat to Northbury and it. Okay. Uh, it's, it's not like my biggest preference to do, but I do think that maybe it's not a bad idea to make sure that we have a better, better uh, uh, trading agreement with these guys. So if this goes up or something... I think that can only be a good thing. So it's going to cost us bread. But yeah, I feel like it's, 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 it's a good thing to do. I do also feel like we should extend the farm right over here. Why are you not built? I probably didn't have the tools and stuff. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're now going to 
remove this little piece of forbidden land. And I just, oh wait, we have another one right over here. So how many tools was that? One, okay, build. Okay, now we have all the fences around the farm. So I do think that we should just add another, another farm, maybe just a little bit bigger here. Wait, can we not get sheep? Sheep? Clothing, we get a sheep farm. And a weaver hut, a good stall, sells good resort type to the villagers. Hmm, it's 50. We get a sign for it. Let's unlock that one. And this is 75 coins. Should we also just unlock that one? Beer production, tooling, sturdy market. Wait, hmm, clergy. I really want to go for beekeeping soon, but I think we should wait for that until we have sheep and stuff. Okay, I did unlock it already. However, I'm not really sure. Like, sheep will, will walk around everywhere, don't they? Villager path blocked? Where is that? Could not reach destination? Oh no. Oh goodness, is that going to be a thing? What are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm not sure. I did actually add a building right over here, but maybe that one is is goss causing any issues that we're going to want to see. So we have, this is a, a bakery. Wait, where is the other? The sheep. A weaver hut. A sheep farm. There we go. How much does it cost? Four tools, ten stone, ten logs. That's not even that bad. Shall we? I want to get that black sheep, you know. <laughs> I want it. I want it. Maybe just right over here. Just build it. Let's see how this will go. Because I, I don't think you really have fences. Like, these sheep will just walk around here through the village and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Let's add a weed farm right here next to it. So we can, can up our production for some bread. Because I, I think that is definitely something we should work on. So I'm going to build this one, and then as soon as that one is built, we're going to have a little bit of a bigger area here for weed. We have some, some villagers that probably need a job still, so we can have them to work there. We have, this one is waiting for workers, it still doesn't have enough water, even though the well is, is right next to it. This one is still, we, we, the conclusion one is that we just don't have enough weed. Like, the weed is always super low when I check. We have weed, flour, and bread right over here assigned. What else can we do? We can add berries to it, but we don't really need to. Herbs, honey, and wine. So we actually maybe need another granary somewhere here close to the monastery. That might be an idea. How is our... See? Oh, this one ish. Oh, okay, so this one, this one is a little bit bugged. Okay, we're going to destroy the building because that is just not working. Maybe we can now build another one next to it. Maybe a little bit more close. Maybe, maybe this, this little cabin was interfering the path to this fisher hut. I could totally see that. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> oh, we have a quarry world. What do you want? A bountiful trade with Nordbury. Again, thanks to your steady trade last season has been good for the neighbor Northbury. The appreciative abbess negotiated better prices with their merchants, who are now ready to offer reduced prices on certain goods in specific times in exchange for increased trade volume. But I actually am not... Oh yeah, I am buying some things. Food is necessary. Ask for fish. We need cheaper tools. Uh, clothes are useful. Good to talk. You want, want uh, I want cheaper tools. In exchange for increased trade, Norbury pledges to reduce the price of tools. Trade for 500 worth of resources with Norbury over the 28 days. If that is a success, trade bonus of 25% for buying tools. But I don't know. 5,500? Ah, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. Uh, advise the monastery. How much do we need to do still? Okay, they're still working on the gardens. Oh, they are. Oh, is this one already done? 
Are you building that? Or are you actually already extracting like berries? I cannot, I do not dare to say, oh gosh, what did we do here? Average daily balance is going down a lot. Do we, do we, wait, yes. Okay, let's go to taxes. And uh, we're gonna have, raise this one a little bit. So we have seven com commoners. Um, how much does it change? Let's, let's just, ah, uh, just raise that one, raise that one. Yeah, let's just raise it. Let's, let's ask for a lot of taxes because <laughs> we can. Hello, welcome to our lovely, lovely village. We can actually add a this building as well, by the way, because this definitely looks a little bit plain. How many things can we add to this? A tax office and a treasury. Maybe we should add a treasury to, to this building here. Can we just, let's see. Oh, I actually maybe like it to have like two separate buildings here. To make this look a little bit more interesting, maybe. Or maybe right over here in the corner. Okay, wait, let's see how that looks. Hmm. I think I think it can be nice to have two different buildings around here. Although I, I'm not really sure how I want to put these. But just to put it a little bit more organically, I think that could work. Okay, so build this one. Maybe something like this, even though it, <laughs> it pretty much looks like... Just a mirror of, of that building. I do really like it to have a little bit of a difference here also with the, with the height of the buildings. So this building is definitely a little bit higher than this one. I like this. That's looking really nice. And we now also, like, oh, we already have a tax office. So I, I don't really think that we need to build that. I can now just build this one. And then maybe we should just change a little bit right over here before we unpause the game again so we're just gonna make this land a little bit bigger we're just gonna do it like this i th i think that could work and then maybe we can have like a nice little fountain here and like some nice trees and some flowers and stuff that would be super amazing how is this building doing okay we're not completely done yet with that do we have like oh 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 we need <laughs> Oh no, we need to make a boundary here ASAP. Like this path, there was, remember this path? It's gone. So over time, it looks like these, uh, these, these, these paths will, will vanish again. So that's good. I like that. Oh wait, let's do that, that, and then open up right over here. Something like that also did work right over here, right? So if we do this. And just make it a little bit bigger because we can. Oh, that looks not so good, does it? No. <laughs> like that. Okay. And now paint crop field. And we're just gonna... Oh, I actually want to make this a little bit thinner as well. Like that. And now we're gonna paint crop field. So we're just gonna fill this up right over here and then I hope that we have enough villagers that are un unemployed so we can put them up to the job to work here let's see three perfect okay we have another farm here so that should help oh you actually yeah well they probably just harvested the farming land um we there's no weed in here so it should be gone pretty soon as well do we want to have another bakery? I mean, that was the plan uh, at some point to build another bakery. But maybe we also need another windmill. I mean, the windmills look beautiful. So even for that, I just, I, I want to build that. <laughs> I, th I think this is a better spot for it. Build. Boom. Okay, where do we want to have another windmill? Maybe somewhere over here or something? Oh man, it looks so adorable, doesn't it? Oh, they already have all the tools, so that means that that this person is is maybe even going to finish this. Oh no, okay, she's gone. <laughs> no, she's gone. She is not. Okay, we can actually add some some more trees and flowers right over here. So we have some more newcomers. Yes, come in, come in. We are we are making sure that you will get the job you have always dreamed of. 
<laughs> uh, villager path block. Is that again with the monastery? Oh, goodness, yeah. I think, oh, wow. This is built, though. So it wasn't that building. You see, I extended this one a little bit. I think that looks better. I'm going to do the same on the other side, probably. I think this is going to work. Oh, however, I, I do not know what path is blocked. So I'm a little bit worried that something in here is not going to be built because of that. Oh, man, that will be such a pity. Oh, wait, we have all these, <laughs> all this forbidden land right over here still. But that was probably the reason why they did create a whole path here. At the back. Oh, look, they are already, already building it. Oh, my goodness, I'm so happy with that. There's another quarry, you know, uh, supplying the wandering monks. A group of wandering monks are seeking to resupply for the road ahead. While they don't have anything of value to trade for goods, they promise to share a good word of your generosity. Make sure they are well fed. No, we don't have berries. You have some coins? No, sorry. I, I, there's just nothing I can do. <laughs> no, just go away. So what else could we build? We did unlock a few things. So what was that? Oh yeah, we have a we have a cute little road sign which we did not build yet. We have a fountain sculpture masterpiece. This one can be placed. Can we can we place this right over here? How does that look? Well, the, we don't have the tools for this, right? No, we we don't have marble and and those kind of things. So uh, you you just go. <laughs> <laughs> not going to build that. Sorry, not sorry. Weaver hut. We need a weaver hut when we have some sheep. So we can make some clothing. Maybe the weaver hut can be here. It's like a, a pretty tiny building. And I, I feel like that definitely would look nice. Oh, how are market stands doing, by the way? In this little village nearby. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's almost done. Oh, I want to... Mm, oh, I did not build that. that. That's why. Okay, we can assign berries, bread, fish. And then we have another one for the clothing very soon. Uh, how many people can we... Okay, three. Perfect, because we have three types of food. So, oh, look, there is a house being built. Yes, it's working perfectly fine. We're going to have lots of houses right over here now as well. We have some upgraded houses right over here. Why are you not building this? Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. I should not forget about that. I actually don't really like this house being so close to the church. Oh, gosh. Can I, like, remove the painting around here so they're not going to, to build here that close? I mean, it is too narrow and I cannot move... That one is all right. I cannot move this. So, ooh, I feel so sorry, but I actually feel like I, I just <gasps> want to destroy this house and hope they will build another one. Maybe very close, but just not, oh, not too close to the church. Like, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Maybe just open this up as well, because we should not have any houses right over here. But hopefully they are able to extend this because, yeah, the attendance should be a lot bigger. We have some more newcomers, which is good because we have some uh, market stands and stuff that could use some help. But we're a sheep farm. Okay, we're going to assign a shepherd. A spawn a sheep. Spawn a sheep. Oh, look at all these cuties. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> look, they're, they're just walking everywhere. Come on, don't abuse. Yes, yes, yes. I want to have the black sheep. Seriously, stop. No, no, no. I'm not going to stop. No, 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 no. Think about the neighbors. That smell. Yes, they smell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, don't complain to the devs if the game crashes. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to stop. But they do have a black sheep. They have a black sheep, guys. Uh, but maybe, just maybe, we should not do overdo it. But, like... I wish we were able, like, obviously we can build a fence, but I'm not sure if you can. Oh, look, there's a, there's a sheep lost on our wheat farm. <laughs> we, we should be able to build a little fence right over here around it. 
to maybe make sure that, well, the sheep go, go through it anyways. But it's so cute, isn't it? Okay, we're going to have one more. Well, there is going to be a point where I'm going to go for that black sheep, guys. I mean, <laughs> I just need that black sheep. I just love it so much. Okay, this one is almost built. So that is good. So we are producing some wool soon. And then with the weaver hat, we are able to make, oh, cloth in, actually, yeah, okay, cloth in exchange for wool, but cloth is not yet clothing. So there should be a tailor workshop here as well. Perfect. Is that something we can, we can squeeze in maybe over here? I'm not entirely sure. I feel like maybe, maybe I want to build this right over here. So let's just put it a little bit to the back side so we have some space to extend the church if we want to. So just unpaint this for residential just to be sure that they're not going to build a house too nearby. Oh wait, no, we need to make this a little bit bigger. Something like that, like so. Because we should not have a squeeze-in house right over here. I don't think that is going to work pretty, pretty neatly. <laughs> right, we did so much stuff in this episode. A lot of it needs to be built. Yeah, but look at this, how cute this looks. Oh, this is so beautiful. We can actually do this. They're still working on the monastery, but I absolutely love this wood already. That looks so good. So how about, how, how far is this building? Can I see? I don't know if I can see it right over here. It doesn't look like it. it doesn't look like they have started yet. No, can't see the progress of it. They are working on, on these herbs. Are we now already gathering the herbs? Or uh, I see wool, I see wheat. Herbs, non-favorite. I want to have them all here. <laughs> oh, we have a manuscript even. So we do have herbs. Oh, wait, what can we do with the herbs? We could, oh, hello, welcome. We could add herbs in here, even though I'm not entirely sure yet if we should do that. Uh, this one we can change to clothing soon, right? I think so. Okay, the tailor workshop is oh wait that's right over here okay we can have a tailor but there is not well we do have some cloth we do have some cloth we actually should stop with trading cloth because now we can produce our own cloth right we have wool which is being produced but the only thing that needs to be built yet is this one and as soon as we have the weaver hat done we are going to make sure that the, the Training cloth will be stopped. Oh man, this looks really amazing. Oh, this one is also already almost done. Oh, that is so cool. Oh yes, this is going to be awesome. Oh, I really hope I did not ruin anything here. There's also a little building right over. I did not build this one just yet. That's it. We cannot start construction because I, I do not have... I don't know. I do not have the resources for it, it says. But yet, I don't know, clear changes? Is that something that I can squeeze in later on if I want to? I don't know, I don't understand why I'm not able to build this. Oh, now I can see resources. 14 stone, 28 planks, a tool. So why am I not able to build that? The upfront cost cannot be paid. I really don't know. We have to wait and see. Look at the bell tower. Oh, yeah, nice. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be really good. Oh, what do we have? Advice, earning influence. The work your folk put into the church is paying off. A notorious priest from Northbury heard of your newly founded monument and would like to perform masses in your village if you wish so. Being fair to such people would certainly improve your standing amongst the clergy. Let us provide for your needs. Oh, you want berries? We don't have that many berries. Pay the priest and improve your standing with the clergy. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. I'm not interested at this point. We actually, we actually really need more berries. Do we have enough fishermen? 
Every, every fisherman hut is now filled, right? Okay, that's good. So let's go here. This one is now really almost done. We have a lot of wool here. We actually need something. Can we put wool in here? No, the wool? Can wool be in the warehouses here, maybe? Maybe that is why. Is that like a thing? Oh, yes. We can, oh, we can add wool here. Okay, it's really far away, but it's better than nothing. So we can actually store some more wool because this is, this is not, <laughs> not enough. We, we definitely need more. Perfect, this one is done. You guys are going to get wool now. And this one is working. This one is using the cloth that we already have. So all I want to do now is go to resources, training, root. No, the resource itself. And I do not want to buy. I do not want to buy any cloth anymore. I actually want to sell, maybe want to sell cloth in a later stage. I'm going to put this on zero because this is not going to be a thing. Oh, improving trades with Nordbrewing. It failed. Seeing you late on delivery, your neighbor bought supplies elsewhere and will not improve your trade route. Oh, no. Okay, we're failing. Oh, no. That is going to be a mess. Oh, look, this one is working on the farm right over here. So that should be running a little bit faster now. How is our bread doing? Bread is not going up, so I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe if we have another bakery that that should go up a little bit faster so we can actually have enough food for our villagers. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up right over here. The monastery is almost, almost done. Hopefully uh, I am able to accept this at some point right over here. But yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of this new episode of Foundation. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!